Part 1. What is Paticca Samarpada? Paticca Samarpada is Pali language. The combination of three words, i.e. Paticca means because of and dependent upon, Sam means well, Upada means arising of effect through cause, so dependent on cause there arises effect. Hence it is known in English as law of dependent origination or cycle of rebirth. In the law of dependent origination, there are 12 links which so show the process of arising of a sentient being from one phenomenon to another in an endless chain of samsara. Although it starts with avidya, it is to be noted that avidya is not the first cause because samsara is beginningless. The origin of beings revolving in samsara, being cloaked by avidya, ignorance, cannot be discovered. Paticca Samapada teaches the cycle of rebirth. The cause is both the cause and effect. Alternatively, or to be more precise, the cause becomes the effect, and the effect in turn, the cause in the universe of space and time. Twelve links are as follows. 1. Dependent on avidya, ignorance, there arises sankara, volitional activities. 2. Dependent on Sankara, there arises Vijnana, Consciousness. 3. Dependent on Vijnana, there arises Nama Rupa, Mind and Matter. 4. Dependent on Nama Rupa, there arises Salayatana, Sixfold Senses. Bases. 5. Dependent on Salayantana, there arises Pasa, contact. 6. Dependent on Pasa, there arises Vedana, feeling. 7. Dependent on Vedana, there arises Tanha, craving. 8. Dependent on Tanha, there arises Upadana, grasping, clinging or attachment. 9. Dependent on Upadana, there arises Bhava, becoming. 10. Dependent on Bhava, there arises Jati, birth. 11. Dependent on Jati, there arises 12. Jara Marana Marana Soka Parideva Dukkha Domanas Bhayasa Old Age, Death, Sorrow, Lamentation, Pain, Grief and Despair it is highly desirable that this doctrine in Pali be learnt by heart. Those who have yet to memorise should do so soon as possible, because it will be of considerable assistance to them to grasp the meaning of the doctrine. Some people recite at the time of paying homage to the Buddha. They may do so if they choose to do, but mere recitation without knowing the purport and significance of the doctrine will not enable him to dispel all sorts of ditti, which are the source of danger of falling into dugati, woeful abode. 
It is easily to be borne in mind that this doctrine is nothing but your own self, your own kanda namarupa. Yes, it is much more than that. It shows the causal continuum of your so-called self, the process of arising and passing away, if nama and rupa, or in other words, the series of sorrows and sufferings and infitim. Paticca samopada actually is in itself the silent cyclic order of arising and passing away of Dhamma or Khandas. The old phenomenon gives rise to another in endless continuum. Such phenomenon of arising and passing away is called Paticca Samabhada and Paticca Samapanya, the function of which no creator or God should start or draw to a halt. This functioning is the relinking of Paticca Samupada. Magapala is only Dhamma which can break the link of Paticca Samupada. And when there is no relinking, it is called Nibbana. This process is only the arising and passing away of Khandas. Namarupa, or in other words, this is the process of the law of causality, in which there is no semblance which can be taken for I, my self or ego. There is nothing except the arising and disappearing of Khandas, Nama, Rupa or Ayatana. One by way of Samuti such a conventional truth. Men, people, creatures or beings are universally so called and known. Whereas Paticca Samapada doctrine shows that Avija and Tanha are the beginning of samsara, it should not be compared with the beginning of men, or custom, or the first cause. In the ultimate truth, there is no man, or mankind, or creature, and as it, and as such, it can only be traced back to the Dhamma, i.e. Avidya and Tanha, is the beginning of samsara. 2. It also shows that it is none other than the continual and endless process of arising and disappearing of khandas of the so-called sentient being, commonly known in samuti such a conventional truth as man, woman and creature. 3. It is to be clearly borne in mind that in Paramatta Satcha ultimate truth there is no such thing as man, woman or creature. It is the law that shows when this exists that arises, with the arising of this that comes to be, when this does not exist that does not come to be. Four. It shows the link between Sankara and Vijnana and Kama, Bhava ja and Jati. Five. It shows the ceaseless realms of rebirth, Jati, birth, old age, sickness and ultimately death. In other words, rebirth, sickness, old age and death are recurring ad infitum, like the tree which bear fruit, and the fruit again produces plant, and the plant again bears fruits, and so on, and on, and so forth, continuing the same process as infitium. 
6. It shows that the process of arising and disappearing is nothing but a series of sorrows and sufferings. 7. It is just like a heap of the fire and fuel. When fuel is put, the fire is aglow. So it is like the fire and fuel. When the fuel is put again, the fire continues to burn, and so and so forth, without an end. 8. By way of Arya Satcha is only the re Recurring process of Samudaya Satcha and Dukkha Satcha in an endless continuum. 9. By way of Vata Round, there recur ad infinitum three Vatas Round, i.e., Kalesa Vata, Kama Vata, and We Papka Vata. Because of Kilesa Vata, there arises Kama Vata. Because of Kama Vata, there arises Vipaka Vata. 10. There is only the cyclic order of time and space, i.e. past, present and future. It will be obvious to the reader that the present comes, present becomes the past of the future which again becomes the present. Thus the ceaseless process of samsara goes on indefinitely.